Hello, welcome back. Let's have a look at these vernier sites and these markings and what does that all mean? But first things first, action is open on this rifle and the chamber's empty, she's safe. Okay, so we've got a, a Goodwin type site here with these markings and markings on the staff infractions and we got a soul site here this has various markings on it and what does that all mean well what you have here is a means of measuring how far you're moving your sights relative to the target so you can adjust the point of impact okay that's all well and good but what does that mean? What what is that? There. What is Oh, I don't know. Let's look at the instructions. What do the instructions say? Well that is at a point zero five inch line, therefore we create a five minutes of angle. Or well, five inches is a hundred yards. Yeah. yeah, okay. But um are they right? What does that mean? And how do they work that out? Hmm. Well, I always think that you understand things better if you work it out yourself. So let me go through the procedure that I did so that I would know in my own mind. Okay, so we have a scenario. We're shooting at 100 yards. Here we are. This is the shooter's eye. And this is the target. And there's 100 yards in between. Excuse me using imperial units but I'm afraid that's the way my fossilized brain thinks inches feet and yards acres for land points and gallons and especially points okay so we're going with imperial we're going with a hundred yards I know. so we need to measure how much to move our sights relative to the target to bring our point of aim or to bring our point of impact on the bullseye. And we need a way of doing that and being able to mark it on the rifle. Hmm. Well, wait a minute. If we could put ourselves at the middle of a circle of the radius of 100 yards, we would be able to measure relative to the circumference. Now, a circle has 360 degrees, okay? This is a right angle of 90 degrees. Four of those makes up a full circle. So 90 degrees, wow, yeah, okay, I understand that because I have a square in my toolbox which is 90 degrees. Okay, so let's take one degree. This represents one degree. Not drawn to scale, obviously. So how far is one degree at the target? Great, let's work it out. So the circumference of a circle is two pi r. Here we go. There's a formula for it. So that's two times pi times r. In our case, that's two times a constant pi times 100 yards. And the circumference comes out to be 628.3185 yards. That's a long way. Okay, so let's. What is one degree? Well, one degree is that divided by three hundred and sixty. Okay, and that is one point seven. Or oh, hang on, it's rather large, isn't it? What is that in inches? Let's get it down to inches. Sixty-two point eight three one inches. Crikey, that's over five feet. Well, that's no use to us, is it? No, it's not. Oh, so anyway, we've got one degree is 62 inches. But wait a minute, we can chop down the degree into smaller pieces. What's this thing, minute of angle, I've heard of? Well, a minute of angle is one sixtieth of a degree. Just like a minute of time is one sixtieth of an hour. A minute of angle is one sixtieth of one degree of angle okay so if we divide 
our degree, which equates to 62 inches by 60, we get this one point. Boy, that's that's our one minute equals one inch at 100 yards. Hey, we can do something with this. Now we can do something with this. Okay, so we've got a unit that we can use. But not only that, but if we increase our circle to a thousand yards, say we're shooting a thousand yards, if we carry on with this line, which represents one be one minute, sorry, and we carry on to a thousand yards, our one inch here becomes 10 inches there because we've gone 10 times the distance. Great, so we can mark off our rifle in minutes of angle. And if you think of uh, telescopic sights on rifles, they are indeed marked off in minutes of angle. But that's not marked off in minutes of angle, is it? That's, that's some sort of measurement, that is. That's some sort of linear measurement. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's have another look at this. Now, a rifle such as this, which is a Sharps rifle, is basically a black powder rifle, and they have long barrels. Remington rolling block is very similar. Uh, Winchester 1885. Uh, trapdoor Springfield, all designed to shoot black powder, which takes a long time to burn, so we go for longer barrels. So if we look at a 32 inch or a 30 inch barreled gun, the distance between your rear sight and your fore sight is approximately 36 inches. 36 inches, wait a minute, that's a yard. Well, yes it is. So here's our rear sight. Here's our foresight, we've got 36 inches, one yard, which is one one hundredth of the distance that we're shooting. So one yard is one one hundredth of our distance that we're shooting. So if we want to move our point of impact an inch at the target, we move our sights one one hundredth of that which is 1.047 divided by 100, which is that, which is approximately 0 0.01 of an inch at the rifle. Well, wait a minute. Look at this. This is marked in inches. One inch. Two inches. Wow. Wow. I think they actually knew what they were doing when they built this rifle. When they built these sights, rather. So now we know that every unit here that we move the sights is magnified a hundred times at the target. So if we move our Sight, 0 0.01 of an inch, it moves one inch at the target. So, is that what we've actually got? Do we actually have that here? Is that our unit? Well, one is very hard to, uh, to measure, so Let's measure that from there to there, a quarter, 0.25, a quarter is 0.25, and look at that, yeah, that is actually a quarter of an inch. So we've got it, we've got a system where we can move the sights on our rifle, either in the windage or on the elevation, don't forget we don't have to draw our circle horizontally, we could draw our circle vertically as well. We have our system and that is how the sights work 
on these rifles. You magnify your movement here by a hundred to get the amount that your point of impact moves at a hundred yards and then you can work it out from there on one inch at a hundred, two inches at two hundred, three inches at three hundred, all the way to ten inches at a thousand and beyond. So I hope I've explained that as simply as possible. It's a way that I understand the system and I hope you understand it too and it kind of demystifies it and takes out all of the the nonsense that <clears throat> some people talk about these sites and the mystery that they want to build up around these sites sort of form an exclusive club. It's not it's relatively simple, very easy to understand once you've worked it through. And to be honest, I had to work it through like this myself some time ago. And that's how I understand it, because I've worked it through. Do the same for yourself. If you're not sure, do the same for yourself. And it will shine out as bright as day. Okay, thanks for watching. Enjoy your shooting. Take care of yourselves. Look after one another. Bye for now.